Minnesota Fine Vikings continue to add depth at linebacker uh, with the absence of Cameron Smith, as well as growing concern over Ben Gideon, who's still on the physically unable to perform list. Now, they try Quentin Pauling. Ah, that didn't work out. Uh, but maybe they'll get it right with Hardy Nickerson Jr. coming in from the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, they released uh, former CFL star cornerback Marcus Sales uh, in a corresponding roster move. Now, uh, Hardy Nickerson, y- you will know him because he is the son of legendary linebacker Brian Urlacher. I'm just playing. So Hardy Nickerson, senior, uh, senior played from 87 to 2002, five-time pro bowler, four-time all pro, uh, mainly known for his Bucks career. Like Hardy Nickerson was really good, man. Really good. Like those, um, uh, the cream sickle, uh, Bucks uniforms they are solid, man. So, uh, let's see if the apple doesn't fall from the tree and maybe the Vikings can get something going, uh, with his, his son, uh, junior here. So background on him, uh, six, three, two thirty, uh, 27 years young, a former three-star recruit coming out of Oakland, California, uh, signed up with the local Berkeley bears, uh, 2012 played three seasons for, the Bears before grad transferring to Illinois uh, in 2016 uh, to play for his dad, who just uh, was brought on uh, as an assistant uh, by Lovey Smith when he took over in Champaign uh, on the Illini. Uh, put up 192 career tackles, 14 and a half tackles for loss, four sacks, three picks for his collegiate career. Uh, just a, a solid uh, inside linebacker. Like maybe he would have uh, some chance at the NFL level. The name will, will get you in the door. I'll look uh, what you have, BB. But, uh, again, if you don't have the game, your name doesn't really matter. I didn't really blow up the combine. I ran a 4 7 8 40, which is you know, a step slow even for an inside linebacker. Uh, averaging just about everything. But tough kid. He's got the pedigree. Knows for the ball. Uh, and, and those are some things that you simply just cannot teach, cannot coach. Uh, ultimately went undrafted in 2017. Uh, was signed as a UDFA by the Bengals. Uh, and he's spent the last three seasons on and off the Bengals practice practice squad and 53 man roster uh, serving primarily on special teams as well as a backup middle linebacker uh, did start nine games over his career including seven in 2018 uh, 81 career tackles over, over 37 games mainly on special teams now he doesn't fit the athletic mold of say a Kendricks or an Eric Wilson or a Troy Dye or a Blake Lynch or even like a Jordan Fair like uh, he, he's not a, a workout wonder like those guys but what he is is he's a tough almost like a throwback paint by numbers uh, uh, middle linebacker as well as a guy who's very willing and able to play on special teams actually put up a 75.9 PFF special teams grade last year on 170 special team snaps so he's basically Kentrell Brothers you remember Kentrell Brothers so for four seasons, Kentrell was uh, the Vikings backup middle linebacker for Eric Kendricks, as well as uh, a dynamo on special teams. Not really a, a big testing numbers guy. Uh, and I think Har- Hardy Nickerson Jr. would uh, fill in that similar role if he does make the squad. Now, does he make the team? Does he make the practice squad? I think he's a little bit of a long shot at, at this point. Uh, I think the Vikings uh, do have a lot of faith in Troy Dye. I, I think they really do uh, like uh, Blake Lynch, Jordan Fair, but also all of those guys are uh, rookies. And if Ben Gideon does indeed spend the season on the pup uh, slash IR, as well as, uh, of course, Cameron Smith go, undergoing open heart surgery, hope that things go with, uh, well with him this week, that, yeah, the Vikings linebacker depth, there, there's not a lot there. I mean, beyond, beyond Kendricks, beyond Barr, beyond Wilson, it, it's a, a bunch of young guns who, yes, you're betting uh, on the come, but maybe uh, a guy like a Hardy Nickerson Jr. can come in. He can be that veteran, back up, play some special teams, and, and get something done there. And So will this actually be a thing, or will this be another, eh, we tried, didn't work out, uh, a la like Quentin Pauling uh, last week? Eh, we'll see uh, as Vikings training camp rolls along. Uh, but your thoughts of Vikings signing Hardy Nickerson Jr., uh, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.